guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. Today I'm going to be unboxing this new gate that we got for our kitchen doorway to keep our dogs in because that is where we leave our dogs when we leave. We put them in the kitchen and we lock them up. Right now we are using a terrible system of a big canvas frame and that's just, that's just not cutting it anymore. But here's the gate. I looked for a while because I didn't want one that automatically closed behind you because when we're home I don't want it to close. It's going to block our kitchen and I don't need that. And I wanted one that was tall because I mean, it's not like we have large breed dogs but our little schnauzers they can jump. And we have one who is very determined to get out of that kitchen whenever we leave. And he has figured out ways before so we wanted to get one that hopefully he couldn't jump over or crawl under and we needed to get one that wasn't something he could chew up like a wood gate which those are very common so we got a metal gate so hopefully this will work so let me open it up real quick oh, excuse me alrighty let's make a mess shall we I didn't mention yet, but I got this from Amazon. Um, I don't remember the price, but I will put it up here for you. It was really good. It had good reviews, from what I could tell. Got ourselves a twist tie. Oh, I think that has our hardware stuff in it. To mount it, which I will not be doing, but a husband will. I'm in jail. That's how they're gonna feel. Yes, indeed. Huh? So height-wise, comes to my waist, I am 5'4", so I'm a shorty. You are not a shorty, it will come a little lower than that on you, but that's okay. All right, here's one thing I noticed. I didn't see any instructions pop out of that bag. Did you? Instructions. Oh. Let's see if I can put any of this together on my own. And he just has to put it in the wall. Maybe I should actually read the instructions in English, preferably. Ah. Oh, excuse you. That's one of my dogs, if you can't tell. <laughs> Oh, 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 I see what they mean. It's gonna go like this. Cool, cool, cool. I can get, ooh, if I can get this part on my own, that'd be nice. Okay, so J is a male. That's this. This is the female? Like this? Well, then you like snap them together or something like that. So this thing has to go one of these things. G. This goes in here. Oh, I'm backwards, so I don't. I'm gonna do it over here. Righty tight. These things. Oh, this goes on the bottom. Oh, this is just nonsense. Like so. Easy peasy. And I got this doohickey. I'm gonna put this doohickey on this doohickey. This goes on the second gate. Do you like whoop? Great. Oh. He needs to put these on the walls for me so that those little things go into them. Yeah. All right, let's cut to the kitchen sink. Thank you. 
Okay, this is weeks and weeks later. I stopped filming because so many things kept going wrong with that and so I just skipped all that it took to actually put it together. I'm just going to show you the final result. So we originally had it in these holes as you saw that we put together but the problem was that the gate only opens one direction. So we wanted the gate to do this. We wanted it to open in but what it did is it opened towards me. So with the hinges on the right and the locking mechanism on the left, it opened towards me because of the way the locking mechanism works. So we just had to change that. We had to change how it stayed in place, which took a lot of brain power, but we eventually got this. Just a little gate hook thing. And it works perfectly. So then the next problem was that we had it up here and this little stinker running away climbed right under it, crawled right under it. So we had to put it lower and the only way to put it lower was to put it on the baseboards here. Yeah, he, he did that. Ugh. Yeah, you, you nightmare. In order to do that, we had to put these extra wood pieces. So it's not pretty, but it's functional and that's all that matters. Now he can't get under it and it locks and it works. Yay. So there you have it. There's our dog gate review. I like the gate a lot, but if you need it to open a certain way, make sure it opens the way you want or do what we did and use that little gate thing. I think it works really, really well and it still looks normal. It's a normal little gate lock thing. So yeah, I give it a thumbs up. We had our own difficulties. I don't really blame the gate for that. I mean, I wish I knew it opened one way and maybe I missed that. Maybe it does say it, but I think it's dumb that it only opens one way. But if you want this gate, it's good quality. It's tall. It's great. Then just use this little, this little gate piece that I showed you. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it informative. I will link this gate down in the description if you do want to check it out for yourself. Other than that, that's all I have for you. If you want to see more fun videos, more informative videos, and dog videos, subscribe. You don't want to miss out. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day.